and uh, I will show you um, how to use it and what's uh, a good way to prototype a website. <coughs> it's the only microphone I... Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I, I try to speak louder, but uh, I, I have to sit down and uh, to show you uh, the, the blank template. Okay, <coughs> first, um, uh, this workshop I uh, write down as a tutorial. It's still in progress, but um, you can uh, subscribe to this uh, tutorial at plank.vc um, slash uh, job 12 and um, there is a little newsletter only available uh, today for uh, the attendees to Jay and Beyond. And um, this tutorial um, will finish uh, next week and then um, you arrive or uh, um, receive a newsletter with this uh, workshop. Okay. Um, what I do is um, I install a, a local on my machine a web server and I install a, a fresh Joomla. And with this fresh Joomla we want to start. So that's, that's my Joomla. And this is the back end, you know. So, and um, when you want to start your own uh, template, you can get the blank one at blank.vz. Download it. Okay, I already done it. And <coughs> if you download it, unzip it and rename it. Uh, with this name, you, uh, you want to name your template. Um, I name it JEP12. And um, you have to, to name it uh, um, not only the directory, uh, you have to name it uh, too in the template details XML. Um, this file is um, for, for the installation, the template in the back end of Joomla. And uh, here you can get um, some information about uh, the template and the, the author. And what I do is I rename template name with JAP12 with this name um, of, the, of the template. So you see everywhere where a uh, stand template name, there is now JAP12. Okay. So I save it and um, I have to, to rename the language files in the directory of the blank template and you find it in the directory language. So, I rename it here. So, and um, this is all you have to do um, to start with it. Now you can zip it. So, yeah, better. Okay, um, I zip the folder and uh, now it's ready uh, to install in the back end. So, you go to the back end to the extension manager 
and take this zip file, upload and install, and the installation was successful. This uh, information you see here, um, you can uh, change in the template details XML. But uh, we only have one hour. I don't uh, make step by step. I make uh, the fastest way to, to use the blank template. So make this template default in the template manager only by clicking here the star. And when I preview the front end, there is nothing else as a blank template, a blank white page. And uh, that's not a failure, that's, um, uh, that's the beginning of your template. It's a feature. <laughs> And uh, yeah, in the source code, you see everything is uh, OK. Here you start, and um, I give some box models on the way to, to, um, to code directly in, in the body. OK. Now uh, I will. Um, um, Prepare the index PHP uh, with uh, JDoc include to show um, articles and um, uh, JDoc include in two, uh, two to show a, a module. So uh, I go local to my template directory. htdocs and here is my template I install and when I open the index PHP I can uh, make my modification or okay And when I refresh the front end, you see hello, job 12 in a, a, a little form, a little size. But um, it's, um, uh, the blank template comes with a reset sheet and um, uh, bring uh, everything to, to null. Then you can start uh, with your own uh, definitions in, in the cascading style sheet. But I don't want to uh, hard code. Uh, text here in the index PHP, I want to, to include uh, the Joomla articles which I, uh, with, which I um, write in the back end. And what I put, no, now I include the component through the Joomla API. And I have here one snippet like this. And um, this line include uh, the system messages, the output uh, in the front end. Uh, and uh, this one uh, is for the output of the articles or even um, all components you install in, in, in Joomla. And when you go to the back end, add a new article. Workshop, some text, and you um, published on the on the on the front page, and make it featured. Then you see it. We were loading here. Okay, it's a, a little bit ugly. But uh, that's your job. You have to, to code or to, to, to define it in the cascading style sheet by your way. Yes. So what I do is um, I want to, to display um, a two column layout. Uh, on the left side, the articles. On the right side, modules. And I put this line of codes in a box uh, 
um, called component and a div inside with a class for the older browsers where I put my paddings and I give uh, the same name only within before so I know it's inside uh, the component element. Okay, thank you. So. A little comment that I um, um, find it easier. And this one I copy, paste. Copy, paste is my friend and give it a name sidebar. And here I, I load through the Joomla API a, a module. JDoc include, type modules, name menu, style, exit HTML. The style I don't need. Um, Ah, doc, doc. The style is, um, if I give a style, um, the, the module will um, render it with the title, with the headline, and when I uh, delete this, it's only what I, what inside the module uh, will, will be output. Uh, So I give it the name sidebar, and here I defined in the index uh, PHP a module named sidebar, but uh, it's not uh, available in the back end of the Joomla, so I have to name it in the template details XML2. And here, under positions, there are um, um, four uh, uh, positions defined. And I give only, okay, I have not to write. I put a new position inside called sidebar, and uh, only this way uh, the position is available to publish a module in the back end. Yes, uh, yes, I uh, can publish anyway, but uh, now I can publish on the position sidebar. And you can select it in, in the Joomla backend in the, on the modules. Yes. That's, um, that's the way when you um, define a module position in the index PHP, you have to define it in the template details XML um, to select and in the backend. No, I am in the template in the in the template uh, details XML, and um, when I go to the backend, to the module manager, and uh, take the login, I can okay position sidebar, and here is a, is a, is the module published. Okay, um, the best way is uh, to give it a, a really good names, uh, no, no shortcuts, like uh, was it, uh, user123 is a, a bad name, um, menu, sidebar, footer, so good, uh, good names, and um, you can associate a lot with the position, um, uh, with the position name where the module is published on your template. Thank you. Okay, um, I want uh, to display the article and the module side by side. And um, for this, I define in the template CSS um, some helper classes, like um, float left, float right, group. And um, <coughs> It's, a, it's so, if you float some element, 
with the other element, maybe float left, um, you have to clear it right. Um, um, the float, um, the element, uh, don't know um, that is uh, uh, um, that uh, yeah. that the float ends. You have to define it. I show you. I take this helper class. Float left and put a, a element ah, I put the element sorry above. and uh, give it a class group. Um, uh, okay. So I prepare the element for the component and the element for the module to uh, to show side by side, and um, but uh, they have no no width. Um, only with width you can um, um, display it in the right way. Ah, okay, I have no the right to to read and write it. Okay, yes. So, component. Maybe on the sidebar. Maybe 200 pixel wide. <laughs> and um, so uh, it uh, looks uh, it displays side by side. So when you group them, they, uh, the float is also stopped after the group. Yes, after the, this model, um, after the element sidebar. Yeah. Um, the float is stopping okay. uh, because I, I group it. Okay. And um, my way is um, I use a fire bug to get the elements. And when I say uh, Z, the element H, H2 for the headline, for the first headline, I can go to the template CSS and define it here. Uh, yeah. uh, you see, um, the headline will be displayed with a bigger font size. But a few weeks ago, I um, I I found uh, um, a very better way to to prototype or easily prototype a, a template. It's called uh, Twitter Bootstrap. And um, under Twitter point github point uh, com slash bootstrap, you can download the bootstrap. And um, this is very handy. Okay, I already did it. Um, they they um, they take the same um, no. they have the same philosophy 
um, they uh, they give you uh, some helper classes to define or to display or position your elements uh, in the right way. So what we need is bitter um, is bootstrap dot CSS and bootstrap responsive CSS. Uh, responsive is uh, yes, the name say it uh, for responsive web design. The blank template is uh, responsive to um, these two uh, cascading style sheets. I copy and paste it to my uh, template folder. in the directory CSS. And the blank template is, um, has a preprocessor for the cascading style sheet to uh, compress all style sheets together. Here on uh, these lines you can include your uh, style sheets you, know, um, you, you want to use and what I do is here take the bootstrap CSS on the first line and the bootstrap responsive on the last line um, and your definitions um, are in the template CSS. Okay. Um, when you use uh, Bootstrap, you um, don't have to use the helper class of the blank template. So you can delete here everything. And um, when I refresh the front end, you see um, this is um, the, the prototype cascading style sheet of Bootstrap. But um, <coughs> the, the two column layout is um, not defined in a Bootstrap way. So I go to the index PHP and they give the, the floats in the helper class called pull left and pull right. And um, the, I, I call it group, they call it row. And give it an element above. The container. And this is uh, the bootstrap way. Okay, um, I delete the width, so uh, I have to define it again. I'm sorry. But uh, um, um, when you go to, to Bootstrap, you have a very good um, documentation for the grid system. Um, here you see uh, the, the way Bootstrap uh, does uh, row and spun four and eight. You can um, uh, take the grid system of the of the Bootstrap. Um, I'm not really a, a fan of grid systems. I think uh, every website should be uh, individual, but it's only uh, for prototyping. Um, what, what you do here with Bootstrap is to uh, make a website functionality, functionality. <coughs> um, and uh, if you have defined all function of a website, you can go with uh, this website to a designer and say, yeah, make it pretty. Yes. And, um, Bootstrap's only good for prototyping. And for prototyping, I, I use a quit system as well. So I define here 
a spun 8 and a spun 4 to use this grid system as you see it here but here above I give it a spun 12 and so you see you um, um, you take this grid system and um, um, you, are, you have, have not uh, care about uh, dimensions. Yes. Okay, um, Bootstrap defined uh, a little bit more than um, the, the layout or the grid. They defined uh, some uh, good components you can use with Joomla. something like the nav bar, you see it here, and um, uh, this uh, you can uh, use with uh, the uh, menu module in Joomla, and they give it uh, here a example code, you can copy and paste. This way. When I save it, then I uh, have um, the, the nav bar defined the bootstrap way. Um, okay, I, at this point I have no um, menu output, and this menu output I have to find with a new position, and here I code a uh, new position for menu. The project name can be the site name of your website. As you see, I, I, I code less, I, uh, I paste a lot. Uh, with a code library, uh, maybe here, like uh, with clip menu, um, you can um, uh, give you um, the patterns you you have um, you need, and um, when you do this uh, one time, um, a prototyping will be very easy. Okay, and the link will be the base URL with slash, and now. Here will be uh, show the site name and the menu uh, I have to publish on the position menu. But first I have to define it in the template details too. Ah, okay, the blank template has the position. So I go to the back end and uh, publish the main menu on this position menu and here you see um, uh, the home button okay not really good uh, um, bit uh, the bootstrap CSS or the documentation say that um, a class is needed for the output um, list uh, called nav and this nav class I have to um, give it as a, a new class with the menu uh, empty space and a new name um, you can um, define a new class for the unsorted list. Um, 
Um, okay. <coughs> Not in the module class, in the menu class suffix. And um, then it will display in the bootstrap way. Um, okay. Uh, bootstrap also defined um, like uh, the breadcrumbs. this way and um, I want to show you um, how to display uh, to, to uh, yeah, display uh, the breadcrumbs and um, um, the breadcrumbs only display the bootstrap way when you use uh, the override of Joomla. Give it uh, the header uh, spun 12 uh, 2, like the, the main, um, to have the, the same width and uh, breadcrumbs uh, get the spun 12 2. And um, Here I uh, code a uh, little box. Give it a grid and copy a module without headline output. Red grid. I always uh, use the same name for the module and uh, the element. So. Um, I associated the uh, easy way. Good. Define it here. And go to the back end and publish on this position breadcrumbs. And you see here we'll display the breadcrumbs. And when I uh, go to uh, article, you see here is um, the, um, no, the, the levels. And um, what I want to, do, to have is the way like this. And this is only uh, possible when I uh, define it to bootstrap way. And when I say uh, see here, I I see you in a uh, unsorted list. And when I look at the source code of the breadcrumbs in Joomla, there is no unsorted list. And um, this output I only can change with a override of the module breadcrumbs and the off override is uh, very easy. Uh, all you have to do is uh, to create a folder with the same name of, of the module. When I go to the root uh, directory of Joomla into in the uh, directory modules, I see mod breadcrumbs. Um, here are here um, are the the files for the breadcrumb module, and through the model view controller princ principle, um, there is a temp template ordner, and uh, all I have to do is um, to copy copy 
uh, these files in the template ordner, template folder, sorry, <coughs> and um, go back to my template um, in, in the folder HTML, I create a new folder called mod breadcrumbs. It has to be the same name. And there I copy uh, the, the files from, from the original folder. Thank you. OK, now I can um, open the default PHP and can um, um, manipulate the output. What I have here is, I have a spun uh, anchor image, okay. The image, um, <coughs> okay, now I have to uh, look here okay also this part here is um, responsible for the text you are here and the part um, this part is responsible for the anchors. And um, I don't want um, the, the message you are here. I want it uh, the bootstrap way. And I, when I look at it, OK, the start directly with the levels and give it uh, in, in an unsorted list called uh, with a class breadcrumb. And this is what I want to do now. Um, I have to show in the source code, there is my class, and they put it here. Uh, this is the pendant to this one, and the unsorted uh, list tag and the, the, the list items, Lee be above. So what I do is first oops, give it a lead tag. When I, um, I save it and um, I look in the source code if this what I do is is um, sorry. It's taken. <laughs> okay. Okay, you see I um, I uh, rewrite the file uh, output and it's uh, taken in the source code and now I have to do is a UL with a glass breadcrumb. And here you get the bootstrap ray of the breadcrumb. And I want to have the same dividers like bootstrap, and um, here this class, uh, this variable is um, responsible for um, the image output here, the arrows, you can see here, and a little bit ugly, I take it and And 
here too. And so I got the slashes, the uh, dividers like a bootstrap way. And so um, it's very handy. You you can uh, cook. Uh, you can look at the documents like, uh, like uh, Bootstrap do. Um, make it override and um, uh, make the same output uh, for for Joomla. And so you prototype um, very fast um, the functionality of a whole website. Um, okay, it's. Um, it's um, becomes uh, a little bit tricky when you want uh, to have um, a drop-down menu like uh, Bootstrap. This one is only uh, possible when you use jQuery. Um, and um, normally you use uh, MooTools uh, uh, in, in for the templates. And the blank template renders the script files in the template .sphp. <coughs> that's its only um, that it's only for reduce the HTTP requests. Then um, I don't have to ask for three files. I only ask for one file in the index pair here. Uh, here and on this file you um, can include the JavaScript file you need maybe you want to make a drop down menu so you have to um, include jQuery I download the last one uh, last jQuery on jQuery.com. Good, I copy it in the template folder JS. Because I work here on a local machine, not online. Um, maybe it's a better way to load uh, JavaScript or um, the, the libraries uh, through Google API, then you can um, um, have a, a parallel loading and uh, get a better performance. So on a local machine, I um, put jQuery here in my JS folder and require it here. here in my template. When I look at the source code at the template.s, okay, here I had the MooTools library and at the bottom I load the jQuery. Um, no. So, oh. where is my check ready? So I think it's there. It's only um, yeah, it's minified, and um, therefore I 
I see it. I don't see it. Okay. <coughs> um, yeah, on this way, it's a little bit. Um, 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 when when you don't need Moo tools, you can comment out it here, and um, you don't uh, load the library Moo tools. But um, you have to know what you do when you don't um, when you um, don't load Moo tools. You have no chance to uh, edit the articles in the front end. Uh, because Joomla and the front end editing use Moo tools uh, to to give you the feature to edit in the front end. <coughs> when you don't need it, you can comment out here and um, increase the performance. But uh, when you are not sure, uh, take Moo tools and jQuery in, in one template. It's not the best way, but um, what we here do is uh, prototyping. We don't. Um, um, increase um, the performance. This is um, what you make uh, when the template is ready. Yes. But um, you have only a, you have ever an, a, an eye on it <coughs> because um, when you have too much uh, JavaScript, you load uh, was a megabyte JavaScript, JavaScript, and this is um, very uh, bad for your performance and the page loading. I try it in the blank template to put this JavaScript on the bottom here, but uh, uh, as I do it, um, there's something as a front end editing don't work. So the Moo tools had to be in the head, can't be um, at, the, at the bottom of the site. <coughs> Because um, the font editing don't work. For for a better page loading, is uh, you put the, the JavaScripts on the end of the site. But uh, if you uh, lost uh, the ability to um, handy. Uh, to, to handle uh, Joomla in the front end, then um, you have to be uh, uh, put it in, uh, in the head. Okay. Um, this file is a preprocessor for the JavaScript and then the cascading style sheets. I, I show you um, this is a preprocessor for the cascading style sheets. And um, when you look, Added at the source code, you see only one one line. Uh, this is what this function here do. With, with the line breaks, and this is uh, is not my idea. Um, this uh, uh, I found it on CSSTricks.com, and um, it's a very good way to uh, increase the performance. <coughs> and um, here I, and the first I, I take the bootstrap CSS, and the last the bootstrap responsive CSS. The responsive is that uh, it's the prototype I will create here is not only for the desktop; it's also for tablets and phones. And when I go here, you see it. And um, this one, the collapse, uh, the, the menu disappears here and uh, give me here um, a button. When I have a phone, I can put the button and get my menus. It doesn't work here because uh, I, I don't load a plugin of Bootstrap. Oh, okay, yeah. And um, they give me a note. When you use this navbar here, heads up, the responsive navbar requires a collapse plugin <coughs> and responsive bootstrap CSS file. The responsive bootstrap CSS file uh, is loaded, but the collapse plugin uh, should be too. I download here the file, save it, and uh, I already do this. <laughs> Take the file, 
bootstrap collapse and my JS folder of the template and in the template JS I included I'm a little bit lazy I copy paste everything I can okay and now and I go to the phone here my menu appears and so you build a responsive website and in this way you can use every plugin in Bootstrap and <coughs> they got a little bit more like models, tooltips and whatever <coughs> and or even carousel and um, that's the way to use you go to Bootstrap to the documents look uh, where can I um, um, what I need for my website um, give the sample code put it in your uh, template and load uh, the plugins you need you can uh, l l even load uh, the boot bootstrap.js but um, that include all plugins you can have uh, through bootstrap and it's a, a better way to uh, only load what you need. You have um, one file, the template js php, where you can include every plugin, and uh, this file um, is only one file, so you have no um, uh, more HTTP requests. But um, it's um <coughs> You, um, you load not every plugin, so the file size is a little bit lower. Well, that, that's the philosophy. Um, only build that what you need. Don't build everything and uh, put it away. Build it from, from the bottom up. <coughs> okay. I see um, I have only uh, five minutes. I hope um, this is useful for you. And... Um, Maybe when you have a question, we have not uh, five minutes and yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.